everybody, Slash from DC here, and I'm playing Vulture for Manhattan. Once again with my, uh, Digger, is he now? No, Investigator. Herman the Investigator, my experience level 7 archaeologist, who is on dungeon level 6 in the Gnomish Mines. And I'm trying to remember real quick, I haven't played this since yesterday, unfortunately. Where I was at with this, I was using my touchstone to identify my uh, precious gems, trying to get a good collection of precious gems together, so I guess I'm probably going to go to the bottom of the mines, try to get my guaranteed luck stone, come back up here, sell my gems, and buy some goodies at the general store. It is kind of the direction we're going with this right now. Uh, haven't been having too many problems down here in the jungle. I mean, the, uh, <laughs> the jungle. In the Gnomish Mines, I'm still thinking Indiana Jones, since I'm an archaeologist. Crossbows, banana, take the banana. Eat the gnome, it's pretty cool. And is this a general store? He'd like me to leave my pickaxe outside. Now this is a food store, so we do have some potions in there that I wouldn't mind identifying. Uh, and I have not yet seen a little closet. What is that? I have not yet seen the... Um, uh, altar level down here. I think I have, do I have a pick? Lock pick? I don't. I hate to uh, kick down any doors down here. You know, I always think that nobody's watching, but if these guards see you kicking down a door, picking a lock or so forth, they uh, get a little touchy about it. Hard shoes. What do I need for my armor kit? I've got some shoes to check out, and I basically need the whole armor kit. I'm going to pick up some of this stuff. When I find the altar, I'll start... Whoa, the raven blinds me. Great. Where'd he go? Here he is. Raven. Not going to kill me right now. It's just a little bit much. Uh, I think the wand of teleport is probably out of charges. Uh, I have a wand of striking to maybe finish this fight quickly if I need to. I'm going to stand here for a second, do some hear noises in the distance. I feel an unseen monster. And this dark part of the room attacked me. I'm going to hit it with a uh, wand of striking. And uh, no, I am not going to do that. It bites and I get zapped, so I have the feeling that uh, it can't be a grid bug. I don't know what happened there. That was a bit strange. I feel an unseen monster behind me. I have a feeling it could be my pet, but maybe not. I'm backing up here for a minute. Get some distance on this situation. There we go. Blindness went away. That's what I really needed. So we've got a gecko coming here, and oh, not a were rat. Please, not a were rat. Um, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, I could conceivably escape from these monsters and get back upstairs, I think. And I'm going to try to do that. I can take these guys, uh, but I hate to do it with uh, my health as low as it is. Were-rats tossing stuff. House cat bites the dog. Little dog bites me. It's a bad situation. Let's throw that dog some food some actual food that he can eat and become my pet and I would like to heal up that would be nice especially since I'm getting things thrown at me maybe I can transpose myself with my dog now hop over here and get some distance from that monster and then let's look for the staircase up maybe we can get there let's take this one step one step at a time no crazy mouse pushes right now. Let's just gently walk back to the staircase. Maybe even bring a pet up with us here in a minute. I would like to find that altar so I could uh, get some better armor on. I know that that's really hurting my cause right now. I'm going to hang out right here at the staircase and heal up for a bit. And what are we? Experience level 7. 
That's a respectable experience level. Do I have my weapon wielded? I do. I'm wielding my bolt whip. So this is the patience game in that hack. Quietly sitting in a dark corner by yourself, sitting on the staircase, chatting with your pet, hanging out. Cool, I got two bodyguards now watching what might come toward me here in this on this staircase and I have an escape plan. So these are your survival tactics sometimes, especially playing some of these more difficult roles earlier on in the game. Survival can mean simply, all right, I'm, I can see what's coming. I've got pets to, you know, hopefully take some of that damage, do some damage. But if it doesn't work out, I can always go upstairs. A um, little bit boring to watch, probably. But I promise this will be over soon. I've got uh, 39 hit points. 40 out of 47. I'm back in the green. Okay, back in the gray. Let's go back down here and uh, maybe see if this wear rat can be handled. Here's a gnomish wizard cast a healing spell at himself. Going down, wizard. Would feel like, yeah, there's more to the shop in this direction. Still looking for that altar right now. Kind of weird how those hallways are illuminated down there. Okay, because this is an illuminated room for some reason around the area of that statue. Dwarf's probably friendly. I'm going to leave him alone. Let my pets do what my pets do. Another little closet. This has not been the best shop level to be on, that's for sure. Okay, that just comes back to areas I've already seen. And we have a candle store. Good to know where that is, in case I actually do need candles to uh, perform the ritual later in the game. That's way later in the game. But I have heard of players who... Uh, get to the you know very late stages of the game and their progress is actually stopped by a lack of candles which would be awful to have that happen to you personally it's never happened to me because I rarely get that far anyway and I would much rather have found a you know nice illuminated shop <clears throat> with um, lots of shops and a comprehensible layout this is uh, <clears throat> more like a maze. And that door is locked. There's a watchman standing right there, too. So I'm paranoid enough. I don't unlock or kick down any doors down here on the shop level. Certainly not going to kick one down with uh, that guard watching me. And that door is locked. You know, there's... I... Ooh. Killer B back up and fight them one at a time. Uh-oh. Back up some more. There's another one coming down the other hallway. Oh. They're trying to surround me. Ah. Experience level 8. I always associate the appearance of killer bees with a stroke of bad luck. You know, in my actual luck stat. That's probably not the case on the shop level. Hey, an armor shop, or is it a general store? That looks like a general store. Uh, but still, until I can identify Bliss Curse on my armors, I probably won't be putting any on. Um, so we continue to look for the shop, I think. Oh, okay, took a short break there in the middle of my play. Uh, Got to deal with this were rat. Nymeria, you weren't here for this uh, earlier. Yeah, I caught you. Welcome back, by the way. Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I step outside, and you're like, oh, let's see what I can do with my archaeologist. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, got, I got caught recording without Nymeria, and uh, when she came home, I had to shut it down for a minute. <laughs> now, uh, 
Uh, it, what was going on, Nymeria, is I was trying to deal with this where at. Yeah. And he's been giving me a few troubles. You've got a dog. What's your problem? I've got a cat, too, around here somewhere. I have not found the altar yet. I'm having one of those runs through the shop level that's very similar to the run you were having. Okay, dude changes into a rat. Come over here and meet my dog. The dog doesn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> I don't blame him. You don't want anything to do with it. Now maybe we can gang up on him. Oh, no. You it feel says feverish. I feel oh, feverish. Oh, no, you're a were rat. I do not want to be a were rat. And I don't have Bane for that. You could pray, right? I could p potentially pray. I don't know when I last prayed. This is the problem. Um, looks like the dude stole some stuff. I am overweighted, too. Let's see what I'm carrying that's so heavy. I wanted to identify this stuff, but I haven't found the altar yet. I've got a bunch of food. I don't need a spell book. Let's just get rid of that. I don't take the weight off. Well, you could just carry that in a shop and sell it immediately. I could. This looks like a general store, doesn't it? Yes. I am suddenly really worried about this wear situation. Um, I think some sacrifice and some prayer might be the way to go. What's the message you get? Uh, you feel purified? Is that how you know that you've been cured? I believe so, yeah. Rock malls, no worry. Now, if one of these food shops was to have a nice, you know, eucalyptus plant in it, that'd be good. Will that help? Yeah, you eat the eucalyptus and that cures you. So, where do you think this altar is? Right here, yeah? Looks that, that way, that looks yeah. looks like, yeah. Like you went the total opposite way of the altar. I think I got in some trouble and I had to uh, evacuate. Nope, that's not either. A little hardware store. Yeah, I still don't think. Still could be yeah, right here. Weird. Maybe there's or a door. Or in the middle. Or See in the, the middle. middle. Yeah, let's go check there first, huh? Oh, yes. hello. Oh, man. Wow. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Uh, pray, pray. Uh, I'll pray and see what happens. Nope. Quetzalcoatl is displeased with me. Oh man. I think I've prayed too much. Why did you pray before? Uh, to get healed, I think, and I don't think he answered my prayer then either. <laughs> well, here's hoping it's a co-aligned altar. You can sacrifice possibly. And... Oh wow! What are you gonna do? I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do because now, how long am I gonna be a were rat? This is what, or a, a rat. I'm always I'm gonna be a were rat until I'm cured. But uh, you yeah, can't okay. open anything. You have no hands. There's the altar, and, and it's cross aligned. Cross aligned. You're lawful. Oh dang! This bodes. Bad, Lee. Wonder was there a food shop? I you know, I don't really. This is a wood candle store. This is a food shop. He could have a sprig of eucalyptus or something, and then that's not. And then most of these doors were locked when I came down here. There you go. All right. You know, did it? I wonder if it killed me and I returned to human form, but it didn't. Is there a automatically pick up all items? No. This is why you have auto pickup, right? Yes. Here. And you could automatically pick up the majority of this stuff. Don't forget to put your armor back on. Yeah, I want to go check out the armor I picked up. That was the main reason for searching for that. Well, I regret taking on that wear rat now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is too good. I don't have a lot of hopes for you here. Yeah. Oh, man.
<laughs> so what? Pick it all back up again, I guess. And hope that I stay human long enough to carry it to the next room. And if I could, I could carry... Oh, I can't carry him in there and sacrifice him anyway. Cross aligned. Don't forget that. Oh. Oh, I hope you make it to the altar at least. <laughs> You're hungry. Yes. All right, let's check out the armor. Doesn't matter whether the food's cursed or not. Might as well check out the potions. Might as well check this stuff out. Who cares? Need to know whether one of these is uncursed. Yeah, it doesn't. Let's just drop it all. All right. Uncursed, uncursed, cursed cloak. Can't put that thing on. Um, can any po is there a potion that can heal you? I don't think so. But you know, in between episodes, I think I'm going to be getting on the wiki. Right. I say, I mean, you could qualify to identify your potions. And... So, how are the boots? Plus zero. And plus, plus zero. zero. All the blindfolds were uncursed, so I only need to uh, hold on to one of those. And uh, uncursed clear potion, so I'm thinking that maybe drinking holy water might cure it. I don't know. I'll have to get on the wiki and see. Yeah. And the food ration confused me. Boy, status effects all over the place right now. Go back to this general or this place that goes selling food. Just check if there was a eucalyptus in leaf in there. I would be a very happy guy. Another clear potion for later. Would you please leave your pickaxe outside? Yeah, I don't see anything in that store. Alright, folks, I'm thinking that I don't want to try to go lower in the mines as things stand right now. No. Yeah, I don't think that would be a good idea. Wondering how heavy this splint, splint mail weighs 400. Yeah, I'm not picking that up. And it's just possible that I've overlooked a eucalyptus leaf throughout my play, too, because it's usually not a very big deal for me. I don't... Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Your luck is not wow. good. It's because you've angered your god somehow, isn't it? It would appear so. I think my striking wand is done, too. Yep. And I've turned into a were-rat. Um... <laughs> I'm not likely to survive this now. No, you're not. Oh my goodness. Oh Let's say my, my goodness. odds are about zero. Oh now I could conceivably I could engrave Elbereth here. Uh which didn't work, and I'm poisoned. And a bunch of my stuff's on the ground and my wand of teleport doesn't work anymore. I think this is uh, Slash and VC signing off here. Let's see what I can do. Um, oh, yeah, I could apply my Wand of Striking. How about that? Let's break my Wand of Striking and cause a magical explosion. Uh, raising your Wand nothing of Striking happens. high above your head. You break it in two, but nothing else happens. No magic explosion for me. Mm, I don't know. Got any recommendations, Nye? I'm trying to think. There's just got to be some way out of this, right? I think I'm doomed. Can you read a scroll? Maybe something will be good. Do you have any scrolls you haven't identified? 
Oh well. Yeah. So long, Herman. So long, Herman the archaeologist. Let's see what I had. I had a scroll of create monster and a potion of hallucination, see invisible, full healing. That might have. That could have been helpful. Maybe gain ability, ring of regeneration. Didn't have identified before. Nice, nice to have known that if I had. And we knew what the stones were. That's about it. The good thing to notice here, though, to remember is if I find a ghost in Hermit, he has a touchstone. <laughs> that is good to remember. And two jasmine stones and two amber stones. I have vanquished 102 creatures, and my conduct was as follows, whatever it was. I died in the Numbers Mines on 5 with 7,885 points, which does not put me at the high score on this one table. Cap still holds that on it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.